and we're going to start with Jonu Smith. Um, I think you can look at this two ways. The Patriots traded Jonu Smith for a seventh round draft pick, and honestly, they were lucky to get it. Um, you can look at this as good. They got him off the books for this year and more so for next when you're going to see some serious cap savings. You're getting about three, four million, maybe close to four million this year in cap savings, which is great. You need every single penny. Uh, but it's kind of sad because this was the, you know, one of the centerpieces of what we thought was going to be a really explosive and important free agent class for the Patriots two years ago. And really, John, who is the poster child and emblematic of just what a colossal failure that entire uh, class was. And I, it's still find perplexing that the Patriots weren't able to figure something out to do with uh, John Smith's very specific skill set. And they couldn't get really anything out of him all of this time. CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because Johnny, you know, by all accounts, he seems like a hard worker. You know, teammates seem to love him. You wanted him to succeed. Um, the first season you started to see that the role that I projected for him as more of an off-ball kind of move tight end they wound up having to use him in line more because Hunter Henry couldn't fill that role. So he was kind of miscast immediately. He never manifested really as a downfield receiver, like you said, that really specific skill set. Even when you look back at a lot of his production with the Titans, he had some wow catches for sure that were contested and made you think he can be a red zone threat. You know, he can be our big play guy. But a lot of the production was actually after the catch when he was wide open because of coverage busts and things like that. Yeah. So when I went back and looked, the, the hints were there. He's kind of a stiff athlete. He's never been a really great route runner or separator. Uh, he's a, and there was a, a gadget guy. The catch were contested. Exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah. it, it, especially in hindsight, it seems odd how much money they gave him considering he was always going to be limited. And I just think because of, just the way he produced on the field, they couldn't keep him on the field to produce at the level the contract would have where it would have made sense. <laughs> well, that's the frustrating thing. It You knew you were moving on. I think it's actually somewhat surprising that it appears they're not moving on from Hunter Henry uh, and that he will remain. Not disappointing for me. Not okay. disappointing for me. Fi different conversation another time, mm -hmm. but also you've seen, I think Hunter Henry is, I mean, a really, I, I think he, you know, is, is as jaggy as Jags get in terms of what he does, but it's better than nothing. You disagree. Uh, that's fine with that, but we'll move we'll move the conversation there when we talk about tight end needs and how big a need they have here and whether they need to go address filling this hole. You're not really filling a Jonu Smith hole when he leaves because he gave you next to nothing. Thing I always found most perplexing about him, Taylor, uh, and then you can tell me why I'm dead wrong on Hunter Henry, and I'll I'll sit here and I'll take it. Um, but the thing that perplexed me most about Jonu is you had to have done some scouting. You knew who he was. I assumed when they got him, they knew exactly the type of role they were going to put him in. And instead they brought him here and just didn't use him for anything. It was like they were trying to figure it out on the fly. So it almost felt like just a weird desperation spend to try to be splashy without any real like consideration into how he would actually fit. Well, I think you also have to take execution into consideration. Like if the guy was – performing well he'd be on the field and the way that he performed kind of forced them to say okay we can't keep him on the field in passing situations because like i said he's not a great separator his hands are very inconsistent you'd see him a lot of the time bobble catches double catch you know he just doesn't really look comfortable downfield yep. so they tried it, people seem to think that they didn't try to get the ball in his hands we have to understand they also have to use other personnel groupings, especially when they had Jacob Johnson and teams were actually defending those looks with base personnel. Yep. You were getting nickel a lot of the time when they were going with two tight ends. So they weren't getting schematic advantages. So you can't put him on the field because, you know, what is he just going to be a check down option? No, put yep. Kendrick Horn on the field or someone else who, who can, can actually run routes, separate, you know, give yep. you a real threat and be a well-rounded player. So, you know, I, it's, I know it's popular sentiment that the Patriots didn't do enough, but I think more of it falls on Janu and that maybe they had bigger plans for him and they were like, well, he just can't perform the roles that we need him to perform. You know, we got to have Hunter Henry in there and then someone else who can actually yeah. give us these mismatches and actually, again, just produce. Yeah, and again, uh, it, it shame, but it, it, it seemed uh, they figured it out quickly. It wasn't working, um, and they de-emphasized his role, uh, and he really never actually had one. So again, they're not losing anything with Johnny Smith, other than uh, you know, 
lamenting what could have been had they spent that money more wisely in free agency and able to have brought somebody in here who would have made an impact uh, did not end up happening. Uh, we're going to get into some tight end off at, uh, tight end options in free agency uh, a little bit later when we you know preview uh, just what the Patriots might actually do here when free agency actually does open up in a couple of days. 